Thank you. And uh, next, Mr. Paulson is recognized for five minutes. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman, also for holding this hearing. I know the folks on the panel before us play a very, very important role in terms of uh, the importance of the current financial crisis that has been gripping the country with, uh, with your powers and a review. Uh, I wanted to just ask a couple questions. Uh, Mr. Thorson, your office has conducted some of the initial audit work for the TARP program prior to the Special Inspector General for TARP being appointed to oversee the program. You know, can you tell the committee anything or tell us anything about how you're coordinating now with SIG TARP, that office, in terms of ensuring effective oversight of the TARP program in general and some of the more complex components that might apply to that? Your microphone, sir. Between the, uh, the SIG TARP and our office, is that what you're asking? Correct. Um, for the most part, I think it's pretty well defined. I think there are areas where it gets a little bit cloudy. And um, for our part, um, we feel that uh, when it comes especially to the area of whatever is the department itself, the employees, the regulators, and those kind of things, and the bureaus that we oversee, that's a, that's a fairly clear line. Um, part of it um, gets, when I mention it gets a little cloudy, it's only because of the fact that in one one jurisdiction is defined by a block of money, and our jurisdiction is, is defined by the uh, department that we serve. So, but for the most part, it, it, it works fine. Okay. And then just to follow up a little bit, too, when auditing now, have you done anything with the Office of Thrift Supervision in regard to their admitted failed oversight of the AIG financial products subsidiary? Um, I'm sorry, what was the last part? Well, and just in terms of oversight with AIG, have you done anything in regard to the Office of Thrift Supervision in regard to their admitted failed oversight of AIG in general? Well, one, um, one of the things that uh, I mentioned earlier was that one, we would like to be able to, uh, uh, to look at, for instance, OTS's role in, in uh, the piece of AIG that they oversee as well as something, uh, you know, the larger ones like GE Capital. But we have not we have not been able to do that at this point. Okay. Would you plan on conducting or undertaking an audit then in regard to AIG in particular? Depending on how our uh, workload shapes up, that is definitely something we would, we would like to do and has been planned. Okay. But again, as I mentioned before, a, a lot of this work, especially MLRs, is mandated and we really have no real flexibility in, uh, in how we do that because right now it's pretty much taking all of the audit resources we have. Again, um, Ms. Coleman, I was going to ask, too, Neil Borofsky, the SIGTARP uh, Inspector General, essentially, has reported that several components of that program do pose significant risks for waste, fraud, and abuse. It's been reported. Do you think that the recently created Fed holding companies in general or the lending facilities could also pose any significant risks for waste, fraud, and abuse that have not been discovered? Well, first of all, I, I did want to uh, mention that we are coordinating with SIGTARP on several fronts, um, the Inspector General Counsel for TARP. We also have joined forces with him in creating the TALF Task Force, which is a proactive effort to get ahead of any fraud, waste, and abuse in one of the Federal Reserve's largest programs, which is the uh, Term Asset Liquidity Facility, the TALF. Um, in addition, I would say that we are currently conducting fairly high-level reviews of all of the Federal Reserve's lending facilities. Um, this is really to gather information to identify specific areas of risk. So I would probably be in a, a better position after we complete some of that work to respond to your question for that, as well as the bank and financial holding company area. Um, because we are in part with the other mandated work that we, that we have ongoing and the fact that we are you know, working in the MLRs, we, we are looking at some of these areas at a fairly high level, but with the intent of, of um, yeah, they're getting additional resources and zero in more to look at the internal controls more specifically. Well, thank you. And I just want to, and I'll yield back in just a second, but Mr. Chairman, I want to thank you for holding this hearing because I think as much flexibility as we can provide to these inspectors is really critical to ensuring not only the confidence of consumers and those in the financial sector, but also getting down to the real nuts and bolts of where some of the problems have lied. So I yield back. Thank you, sir.